Easy Rider Moto friends and family, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Easy Rider here. I'm coming with another channel exclusive for you guys. This video here is exactly explaining where I put my cameras for camera placement for certain angles, for certain visuals, when vlogging, when getting my reels, when getting my uh, camera angles for my YouTube channel when it comes to racing, riding, or everything like that. I'll explain some of the mount points that I have my cameras and what cameras I'm using. This is exclusive content for you guys that you guys have asked me about in my comments and as well as in my DMs. So make sure you check me out on Instagram at Easy Rider Moto. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and you hit the notification bell. You'll be notified when new content is uploaded to you. Make sure you smash that like button. That helps with the algorithm. And make sure you please do share it with your friends and family because word of mouth still is effective and it will push this content out to people that can use the information such as yourself. So starting off with this video here, I'm going to talk about the main camera that I use for my reels. Um, I will display this, uh, what this angle looks like upon uh, in the video as well. I'll, I'll insert it into the video, but I'm first I'm going to get into this. This uh, camera here is a Insta360 X1. This is the first Insta360. Shout out to Leader Lars. Um, he actually gave me this camera to help me out with the channel and some of the angles because I was having an issue with my GoPro 360 Max. So shout out to Leader Lars for that. So this here in particular, I do prefer this camera, the Insta360 X1, X2, and X3. And I believe that they might have an X4 that is a newer camera that's just come out. But the Insta360 products are phenomenal products. This here is the mountain point that I have for this. This shows the dashboard, it shows through the windscreen, it shows alongside of whoever I'm racing against, and it also shows my face. Um, I'm gonna insert the clip here to show you exactly what this camera looks like and what the content looks like from this angle. Moving forward, I'm gonna to go to the GoPro 360 that I have back here as my rear camera. This camera here is a camera that I, uh, angle that I use. Also, it shows the rear of the motorcycle, the wheel as it's spinning. It also shows whatever opponent that I'm riding next to or against. Um, it'll show the view of the, the person from behind and it gets a, a 360 view. It also shows around under here it pretty much shows all this vicinity here around on the thing. I'll include that as well. Also, uh, I am using a Insta stick to, and I, I, I mount the Insta 360 here 
Um, and this will give you this view of where you can see me from uh, from behind, almost if you're a back passenger on the back of the motorcycle. Um, it, it is very effective. It shows different angles. I'll insert those angles here in the clip as well. Um, but this instant stick, I just have it mounted pretty much safety wired here, zip tied along the back passenger peg, and it goes up and it gives you the angle that you are looking for. Moving forward, I have a Hero, I'm sorry, a, a GoPro Hero 9 Black. Um, this motorcycle uh, action camera is very well. This is my vlogging camera. This is the camera setup that I use for vlogging. It gives you the views, and this is when I give the, the new first person point of view where you can hear my voice where you hear me talking where you see me riding you see the dashboard uh yeah i don't know what that cop was doing but he seemed like he might have been a little intoxicated not exactly sure what his problem. I do this in a lot of my how-to and tech talk videos. Uh, I use this camera here. This camera is a phenomenal camera for what it's used for, for vlogging. Still a great camera. Um, they are currently on the GoPro Hero 11 Black. 11 Black. So I will probably be investing in that very soon. Um, also, this position here, this mountain point here, I'll give you guys a prime example of what this mountain point looks like. Um, it is just in deletion of the mirror because I'm not running the mirrors anyway. So usually when I use this uh, angle here, it's for cruising, it's for city riding, it's for pretty much getting the content of vlogging and getting people that are, you know, whether it's me interacting with, with subscribers, friends, fellow YouTubers, social media influencers, a lot of the time I'll get this content with this camera position right here and mounted right here. <laughs> Um, I do, like I said, prefer the Insta360 cameras over the GoPro cameras just because the apps, the quality of the vision, of the visuals, and um, a few other slight reasons. I, I like the, the, the editing app software. To me, I like it. I prefer it over the GoPro app. Now, I did have this GoPro 360 first, and I have always used products of GoPro. I've had multiple GoPro cameras, starting from the original GoPro all the way to the GoPro 4, to the Session, then to the 7, now the 9, and the 360 Max. And um, like I said, when it comes to the 360 visuals, I do prefer the quality of the Insta 360s more. Um, I hope that helps you guys out with the mountain points. This mountain point under here is a great mountain point under your under your uh, tail section. A lot of people use that that specific mountain point. The gas tank mountain point shows a great visual of where you are. Uh, often I see a lot of my buddies like Two Wheel Monster. He has his mount here on his triple tree, so it shows that. Uh, I'd rather have something that's more stationary to where. The camera doesn't move when you move the handlebars. The camera's not moving like this with it, even though you can edit that with 360 software. I prefer to have it at a stationary point. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. This is just a exclusive content for you guys that have asked me questions on where to mount your GoPros or where you where to mount your action cameras, your Insta360s. I'm hoping that it's helping you guys out and giving you some insight. With that being said, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when new content is uploaded to you such as this. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Make sure you do share it with your friends and family. I'll catch you guys on the next one, only on the Easy Rider Moto YouTube channel. Peace.